Hello friends, welcome to Canada Ace. Hope you guys have an amazing day. So today we are going to deal with another question from our Telegram channel. Now let's check the question. Father is four times the age of his daughter. If after five years he would be three times of the his daughter's age, then further after five years he would how many times he would be of his daughter's age? Okay. So the question is actually based on a topic known as ages. And it's, a, it's an important topic in our CSAT paper, okay? Okay guys, now let's solve this question. Father is four times the age of his daughter, okay? So from the first statement, if I am assuming that uh, the age of the daughter as x, then father's age will be what? Father's age will be what? 4x, right? That is father's age is four times the age of his daughter, right? So if you are assuming the age of the daughter as x, then father's age will be what? 4x, right? Okay, if, he, if the age, if after five years, he would be three times of his daughter's age, right? That after five years, the father's age after five years is equal to what? Three times of the age of the daughter, okay? Three times of the age of the daughter after five years, right? If after five years, he would be three times of the daughter's age, that means we know that 4x is what? Father's age, right? This is father's age and x is what? That daughter's age, right? daughter's age. So, 4x plus 5, okay, 4x plus 5 is what? This is the age of the father after 5 years, right? Is equal to what? 3 times, 3 times, 3 into x plus 5. x plus 5 means what? The age of the daughter after 5 years, okay? We already assumed that x is the present age of the daughter and 4x is what? If x is the present age of the daughter, then 4x is what? 4x is the percentage of the father, okay? So after 5 years, the father's age is what? 4x plus 5 and after 5 years, daughter's age will be x plus 5. And according to the uh, uh, statement, the age of the father is 3 times. After 5 years, the age of the father is what? 3 times the age of the daughter after 5 years, right? That is 4x plus 5 is equal to what? 3 times that of daughter's age, that is x plus 5, okay? So from this equation, so let like this be equation 1. So from this equation 1, we can find the value of x, that is the present age of the daughter, right? So let's find the present age of the daughter. That is 4x plus 5 is equal to what? Is equal to 3x plus, now opening the brackets, right? 3x plus 15, right? So bring the x terms to one side, that is 4x minus 3x is equal to what? 15 minus 5, that means x is equal to what? 10, got it? So the present age of the daughter is what? 10. And the father will be what? If x is if uh, the percentage of daughter is done, then the father will be what? Father's age will be what? 4x means 40 years, right? That means the percentage of the daughter is 10 and father's age will be what? 4x, that means 40 years, okay? So the daughter's age is 10 years and the father's age is 40 years, okay? Now check the question. Then further after 5 years, how many times he would be of his daughter's age? That means after 5 more years, we already find the condition that uh, 4x plus 5 is what? 4x plus 5 is what? Age of the father after 5 years and x plus 5 is what? Age of the girl after 5 years, okay? Age of the daughter after 5 years. And then they are asked, find, then further after 5 more years, okay? Further after 5 more years means what? We need to find the relationship between the father and the daughter. After 5 more years means what? From their present age, we need to find the relationship between uh, father and the doctor after 10 years, okay? From their present age plus 10 years, we need to find their relationship. So we already know the daughter's age is, uh, age as present age is x and father's age is what, 4x, okay? So after 5 years, the daughter's age will be what, x plus 5 and father's age will be 4x, 5, 4x plus 5. So after 5 more years, okay? We need to find the relationship between not that 5 years, after 5 more years, that means the total year will be what 10 years that means we need to find the relationship between the daughter and the father after 10 years okay so we already found their present value that is 10 is the daughter's age at 10 is the present age of the daughter and 40 is the present age of the father right so after 10 years the uh, daughter's age will be what so the daughter, daughter's age changed to 20 and father's age will be changed into 50 right so after 10 years the daughter's age is 20 and father's age is 50 so, what they asked, we need to find how many times he would be of his daughter's age. That means we need to find the relationship between the age of the father to the daughter, right? So, that is nothing but 50 by 20, okay? 
50 by 25 by 2, you will be getting an answer of 2.5. Okay, that is how many times he would be of his daughter's age. That is nothing but 2.5 times. Okay, the father's age is 2.5 times that of his daughter's age after 10 years. Okay, so our answer is what? 2.5. 2.5 times. Okay, check your options. Our answer is 2.5 times. Okay, guys, now let's move on to the next question. What is Arman's present age? If after 20 years, his age will be 10 times his age after 10 years back. Okay. So, this is very simple question. Okay. So, now let's solve this question. Okay, guys. Now, let's solve this question. What is Arman's present age? Okay. So, here I am assuming the present age of Arman is X. Okay. What is Arman's present age if after 20 years? Okay. That means x plus 20. So after 20 years, Arman's age will be what? x plus 20, right? After 20 years, his age will be 10 times his age 10 years back. So after 10 years back, his age will be what? His present age is x. 10 years back, his age will be x minus 10, right? x minus 10. So we already assumed that Arman's present age is x. So 10 years back means his age will be x minus 10. And it is said that if after 20 years, that is uh, x plus 20 is equal to, after 20 years his age will be 10 times his, 10 times his age 10 years back. So it is nothing but 10 into x minus 10. Okay. So you will got the equation and only thing you need to find is the value of x. Okay. So let's find the value of x x plus 20 is equal to 10x so multiplying okay putting uh, making the term multiplying the term inside the brackets that is 10x minus 10 into 10 100 right so making all single terms to one side that is 20 plus 100 is equal to 10x minus x right that is 120 is equal to what 9x so x is equal to what 120 divided by 9 and on simplification you will get the value of x as 13.3 uh, okay 13.3 years so after 10 that means his age okay his present age is what 13.3 years okay so we got his present age as 13.3 years so please check your options i think uh, it is option c okay so please check the option once again anyway our answer is 13.3 years okay so now let's move on to our next question. The income of A and B are in the ratio 3 is to 2 and their expenditure are in the ratio 5 is to 3. So here I am assuming, assuming that the income as X and uh, expenditure as Y. That means the A's income is what? A's income is 3X. Okay, the ratio is 3 is to 2. A's income is 3X and B's income will be what? 2X. Okay, and similarly the expenditure ratio is that 5 is to 3. So A's expenditure will be what 5y and b's expenditure will be what 3y okay so i am assuming that the uh, income as x and expenditure quantities as y okay and we already found two equations that is a's income is 3x and his expenditure is what 5y and b's income as 2x and her expenditure is what 3y okay yeah according to the uh, given ratios and it is said that if each of them saves rupees thousand, okay, each of them is actually saving rupees thousand. So here you actually need to know the concept, uh, relationship between income, expenditure, and savings. Okay, so let expenditure, let uh, E be the expenditure, I be the income, and S be the savings. Then income is what income is savings plus expenditure okay income is savings plus expenditure it's a very simple concept suppose you are getting an income okay and your ex uh, your ex after all your expenditure some amount will be left okay that will be your savings similar concept okay it's actually that similar concept that is income will be what expenditure plus expenditure plus savings okay so here we can apply that concept here also and it is said that thousand rupees okay thousand rupees is actually saved by both of them okay they are saving thousand rupees okay so they are saving thousand each and we need to find what a is income so from that we can develop a relationship that is we know that 
this is actually their income right this is save expenditure and this is savings okay so 3x okay consider A's case so 3x minus 5y okay that is his income that is 3x 5y is what his expenditure is equal to what thousand that is savings that is income minus expenditure will be what savings similarly consider B's case that is 2x that is what his income what is his expenditure 3y okay 2x minus 3y is equal to what thousand okay so you got two equations one and two and on solving try to find the value of x okay after eliminating y try to find the value of x if you are finding the value of x you can directly find the answer for uh you can directly find a's income because we already assumed that a's income as what 3x after finding x substitute the value of x here in 3x you will get the answer so friends uh from this equation we need to find the value of x right so for that we need to eliminate the value of y right for that multiply the first equation okay with 3 sorry yeah uh, multiply the first equation with 3 and second equation with 5 okay so multiply the first equation with 3 and second equation with 5 so you will get the value as what 9x the equation changes to 9x minus 15y is equal to what 3000 right 3000 and second equation on multiplying with 5 you will get what 10x minus 15y is equal to what 5000 okay so you got two equations and here you got the value of y as same okay now multiply the first equation throughout with minus okay multiply the first equation throughout by minus so you the first equation changes to what minus 9x plus 15y minus 3000 okay it's equal to minus 3000 so here this positive and plus 15 and minus 15y got cancelled and you remaining what values is what that is 10x minus 9x is what x is equal to what 2000 right 5000 minus 3000 is what 2000 so you got the value of x as 2000 right so what what is our question we need to find the value of a we need to find a's income right value of a's income and we already assumed that the a's income is what 3x and we got the value of x as what 2000 right so a's income is nothing but 3 into 2000 okay so your answer is what 6000 okay make sure that you are getting the answer as 6000 okay so a's income is 6000 okay guys now let's discuss our next uh, telegram question so the question is the location of b is north of a and location of c is east of a and the distance a b and a c is given that is 5 kilometer and 12 kilometer respectively the shortest distance between b and c okay we need to find the shortest distance between b and c according to the statement given here right okay guys now let's solve this question the location of b is north of a right so m uh, first of all mark the point a and it is said that location of b is north of a okay so b's point will be here okay north of a and now consider the next statement the location of c is east of a okay so c will be here okay east of a and it is said that the distance a b and a c is what 5 kilometer and 12 kilometer okay a b is 5 kilometer and a c is what 12 kilometer 5 kilometer and 12 kilometer a is direct north is b and a is direct east is what c okay so these two lines form a perpendicular okay these two lines are perpendicular to each other and what they have asked they have asked to find the shortest distance between b and c that is nothing but this b c right so it forms a right angle triangle right that is a b and b c okay they are perpendicular to each other and b c is the hypotenuse right so they form a right angle triangle now with the help of the pythagoras theorem we can easily solve this question right it's a very simple question now let's solve this thing so i think you all know the concept of pythagoras theorem so apply the pythagoras theorem here that is Pythagoras theorem is nothing but bc square is equal to what ab square plus ac square okay bc square is ab square plus ac square now substitute the values ab is what 5 right 5 square plus ac is what 12 right 12 square so 5 square is what 25 and 12 square is what 144 right yeah 144 so 25 plus 144 you will get the value as 160 160 9 right yeah 169 so you got the bc square as what bc square 
as 169. So BC will be what? BC will be the square root of 169. Okay, square root of 169. I think you all know the square root of 169. That is nothing but 13. Okay, so their distance BC is what? 13 kilometer. Okay, it is 13 kilometer. 13 kilometer. Okay, so we got the answer as 13 kilometer. The shortest distance between A, B, and C is what? 13 kilometers. Check your answer. Okay, guys, now let's move on to our next question. <clears throat> if a bus travels 160 kilometer in 4 hours and a train travels 320 kilometer in 5 hours at uniform speed, then what is the ratio of the distance traveled by them in 1 hour? Okay. So, in the first game, it is given that if a bus travels 160 km in 4 hours, okay, the bus travels 160 km in 4 hours, right, 4 hours, and a train travels 320 km in 5 hours, okay, a train travels 320 km in 5 hours, and at uniform speed, okay, that is equal distances in equal intervals of time, okay, then what is the ratio of the distance traveled by them in one hour, okay, since uh, the train and the bus is traveling at uniform speed, the distance traveled by them in one hour is nothing but, in case of bus, it is 160 by 4, and in case of train, it is what, 320 by 5, okay, the distance traveled by them in one hour, okay, so in case of bus, it is 160 by 4, okay, and in case of train, it is what, 320 by 5, it took 4 hours to complete 160 kilometer, right, so, how much distance traveled by the bus for one hour? That is nothing but 160 by 4 because the, it is said that both train and the bus travel at uniform speed. Okay. Similarly, in case of train, the uh, distance covered in one hour is nothing but 320 by 5. Okay. So here the keyword is uniform speed. Okay. Okay. So we got the uh, distance traveled by them in one hour. Okay. In case of bus, it is 160 by 4. In train, it is 320 by 5 okay and what what is the question we need to find the ratio of the distance traveled by them in one hour that means we need to find the ratio of the distance traveled okay ratio of the distance traveled by the bus to train okay bus to train okay the ratio of the distance traveled by uh, the bus to train that is in one hour and train also in one hour so make sure that you find the ratio bus to train. Okay, bus is to train. Please uh, don't make mistake. That means please don't find uh, the answer for train is to bus. Okay, so that answer is one of the options for in your question paper. So there is a heavy chance that you may go wrong. So make sure that read the question properly, then find the answer to the answer to the question. Okay. So here it is asked, what is the ratio of the distance traveled by them in one hour? That is, the first case is what bus and the second case is what train. So we need to find the ratio of bus is to train, not train is to bus, okay? So now let's solve this. So we already found their uh, distance traveled by them in one hour. That is 160 by 4 and 320 by 5. So 160 by 4 is equal to what? 160 by 4. You will get the value as what 40 okay 40 kilometer this is the travel by bus okay at one hour at one hour they have bus travel 40 kilometers so in case of train it is what 320 by what 5 okay so you will get what 64 right 64 kilometer so that is by train for one hour so at one hour bus travel 40 kilometer and at one hour train travel 60, 64 kilometer so we need to find the ratio of these two values that is bus is to train so bus value is what 40 kilometer okay that is 40 by train value is 64 40 by 64 that is 5 8 so you got the answer as 5 is to 8 and in your options 8 is to 5 will be another answer okay another option so make sure that you you get the answer 5 is to 8 okay 5 is to 8 is our answer for this question Okay guys, make sure that uh, you guys subscribe to our Telegram channel as well as our YouTube channel. Okay guys, we will be coming with more videos based on the Telegram suicide questions. Okay guys, that's all for the day. Thank you.